My name is Eric Rasko. I've been working with Sports Illustrated for the past 18 years. And in 2015, I shot American Pharaoh, the Triple Crown winner cover. I've set up for several Triple Crown attempts in the past 15 years, where the competing horse has won the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, and then we were setting up for the Belmont. There's a lot that goes into it because at the, at the time of all these setups, it, it had been 30 plus years since a horse has won. And the person that's anchoring the finish is probably out there with a dozen different cameras. My initial attention was to go up on the ceiling and get a shot looking down onto the track where hopefully I would get the horse crossing and a sea of fans next to it. However, in that particular position on the roof, it's not very clean. You can either go tighter and get all track, or you go wider and you see the winner circle and all the TV stage and setup. And so I looked for something different. My overall goal was to get spectators. And I waded into the crowd and there was only a few thousand people as opposed to a hundred thousand people. However, as the big race approached, it became incredibly crowded. So I put my camera on my monopod and used it as a pole camera. I had finally the shot that I wanted of fans in the foreground, giving it a sense of time and place. However, as the actual race was getting ready to start, I became even more buried by the crowd and even standing on a bench or a chair with the pole, I, I couldn't seem to get up high enough. Race started and it was chaos. I've never been at any event that's that loud and everyone was jumping, yelling. I was getting crushed by spectators. Beer was flying. I did not see any bit of the race. As everyone's excited and yelling and cheering, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. It was intensifying and got louder and louder and I was able to tell when they were coming to the last stretch. I felt the whole of tens of thousands of people, and finally I, it hit a point where I felt I had to just fire. Holding it up, didn't see a thing, and I just hammered away. The race ended, I could tell obviously American Pharaoh had won, and I had no idea if I got her or not. I felt I would have had to been really lucky to have gotten that shot in that moment. You know, I knew I hammered down and I got frames. I just didn't know if it was empty track or the wrong horse. So I popped it in, started processing, and uh, sure enough, there were horses in the frame, and I'm like, is that the horse? Just to double check. <laughs> She's like, you got it, you got it, that's the horse. And the amount of relief was phenomenal. What went from sheer panic and devastation and disgust at myself <laughs> turned, out to be, turned out to be a pretty good scenario. Never in a million years did I think I was going to get the cover out of that. And that's probably one of my more intense days at SI ever.